what are we really made up of? I am in Ahmedabad, Gujarat at the Matter EV factory. There's so much interesting stuff going on on the inside. Let's find out. Lots of computers and laptops. Their technology is on display. Individual cells are tested. Cell aging is being tested. And then they are assembled into a battery pack. Cell sorting machine. I hear this machine can sort out life problems as well. Cell and battery testing lab. Motor and gearbox prototyping lab. Vehicle development area. Dyno, not a sword. Drop test rig. Prototyping lab. More prototyping. There's a cafeteria too. This is what you see as the complete finished product. What are we going to talk about? I'm so excited to know more. So we have four pillars, okay. security, safety, reliability, performance. So we, I'll be walking you through them with a perspective on what we are doing and how we are doing it. Okay. But well, to start off with, I can start talking about security right sure, away. Sure, let's do it. This thing is more powerful than most four-wheelers today. Oh wow, okay. And the reason is that the amount of data this one's pushing out mm -hmm. is unbelievable. The core idea is that you're never going to be left stranded. The vehicle, because of the sensors and a host of other things on it, is going to give you the right information. If something is going wrong with the vehicle, you should know before it goes wrong. Yeah. You are really able to geofence this bike. You're charging and somebody by mistake trips on the wire and stops charging. Yeah. You don't want to be left stranded in the morning saying, hey, my car is charging. charging this kind of comfort that you get, and again, making sure it's ultra secure, mm -hmm. is for us the key first pillar. Most of these things are going to be felt by the consumers during the life of the vehicle. Talking about safety, but I'm just going to walk you through quickly yes. what we all do here in terms of battery safety. I, so, I see a lot of cells on the inside. Oh, the, 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 this is kind of the heart of the operation yeah. here. So the cell is the most critical piece here and if you look at the machines out here, they are all about testing each and every single cell that goes into the bike. And from there, we kind of move into very detailed material analysis, chemical analysis, which is just to make sure that whatever we are putting inside the battery pack is top notch. This is one of the latest cell uh, bonding technologies okay. that is available. Uh, it's laser welding um, and uh, this is where, I mean, this machine is our uh, prototyping machine where we test out different ways and means of connecting the cells, putting in fuses in between the cells. How does that work? I mean, how do we increase that level of safety? So while we've done testing on the cells rise, how do we make sure that that also doesn't get missed? So it's an additional layer of safety. This is the meat of the matter. So this is what the finished uh, battery pack would look like. So Interesting. it's a large box. Yep. It's, it's about 38 kilograms in weight. I mean, okay. that's how heavy batteries can actually end up getting. Yeah. We have our BMS out here on the top. Okay. And um, let me open it this up for you to show you what goes inside. Wow, this is so cool. So the kind of packs you're seeing uh, prototyped there, uh, they are the ones that actually go into production inside the pack. And the most critical function of these is this small funnel that you see out here. That's this the liquid the cooling. Bit, yeah. That's, That's the liquid, the liquid cooling, cooling system. Amazing. And this is what is most critical in ensuring safety. In this entire room that we are sitting in is essentially to mimic a motorcycle. Okay. The core fundamental piece is an engine, which right. in an electric is a motor. Correct. So what we do out here and for years have been pushing the limits of the motor and keep doing it again and again and again and again until you understand how it's going to operate. So, okay. let's say you're parked again, Ahmedabad sun outside in the afternoon, it's 50-55 degrees Celsius. You want to take the bike out and you want to hit a top speed of 105, yeah. the bike should do it. How do we make sure that the bike will give you your top speed every single time? Yeah. That's the idea and that's why for us this performance principle is so critical 
we've invested significantly in equipment of this kind not seen much of this elsewhere in asia pacific so we yeah. brought this in here made sure we understand what is going on just to make sure that you are never left wanting for power when you need it give the throttle it will go it will go what we have here on display are the core critical pieces of electronic technology which mm -hmm. mix an ev and ev so like you have the battery pack electronics which control the motor the liquid cooling technology this is the display body control unit the battery management system so this is our motor disassembled because not many times uh, we understand what goes inside again liquid cooling to give you that performance this is actually what is making sure it delivers to the consumer time and again this big fancy machine is essentially to make sure that every single component that is going onto the vehicle needs to work in possibly the roughest of situations through machines you are actually able to cover every single thing out at component level we've tested the displays we've tested the battery packs we've even tested the frame so we have some interesting motorcycles lined up and i believe these are generations of how the final product came into place uh, the motorcycle the, 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 this ah. is generation 1 so this Gen is one. summer of 2020 and uh, this was a time you know that first time we realized that we really had to move to liquid and okay. that's where you see the next variation where you see the full size radiator you're seeing a lot of cooling lines being added yeah, yeah. so liquid cooling's come in so this is 2021 And again, 2022 uh, November at the keynote is where you saw this. Nice. Achoo, this is the motorcycle. This is the exact same motorcycle. Lovely. And from there we have today the 2020. productionization version of the bike. So this is what consumers will get. So we have all the four generations and countless prototypes in between to really talk about uh, the journey of the bike and you know why it's in this shape and form factor. So what's happening here? Well, we are essentially trying to break it. Okay. The simple way of putting what we are trying to do. Roads again have weird impacts on a vehicle. I mean, everything is not running on smooth, perfect roads. So, sure. how do we make sure that while we are delivering top speed to you, nothing else is failing? So, at component level, we did it. We are now making sure that the bike is really, really going through the paces. I think eight months of this to see suspension failure or part failure or something. That it's building the confidence of the design, the thought process, the engineering has gone in, which is perfect. This is going to be the heart of our reliability operations. This is going to be something which is loud, okay. but it's going to be fun. It is fun. <laughs> so this is a drop test rig. Yes, I think it is. It is literal terms, huh? In the, I mean, well, engineers are not supposed to be creative, right? <laughs> I mean, we, it's literal. Now I've seen pretty much the entire factory, and so has our audience. Yep. I want to get a feel of the motorcycle. Yeah. Unfortunately, I'm not carrying my gear at this time, so I won't get to experience it on out on the open road. Okay. But you have a dyno. We do. I would like to experience it there. Definitely. Whenever next year here in riding gear. Yeah. to get that test drive done on the outside but till then this is all yours a motorcycle with liquid cooling and gears And I'm sure you've heard all of this in the world of bikes before, but this is electric. Now, for people who have pre-booked the motorcycle, you will get a chance to test ride it from mid-June, and Matter will contact you because you have given your contact details while pre-booking. For the rest of them, the test rides will follow after that. I will get to test ride it as well very, very soon, and will drop a review. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you have any more questions about the motorcycle please drop them in the comment section below I'll be more than happy to answer those questions for you My name is Arun Painter and I will see you later